angles and parallel lines. So in this video you're going to learn about what um, angles and parallel lines look like and what uh, is similar and how to find um, missing angles that are, are asked for you in questions. But first we can understand what a parallel line is. So what are parallel lines? Parallel lines are two or more lines which are going in the exact same direction and they stay the same distance apart and therefore never meet. Now here's some images that explain what parallel lines look like. So you can see what parallel lines look like. So two lines going in the two or more lines going in the same direction and the exact same distance apart. And then you have some examples of non-parallel lines. So lines that at one point, uh, if they continue going, they will um, touch each other and set because they are not at the exact distance apart. Okay, so types of par uh, uh, parallel line angles. As we're going through these, please do copy down the um, first example for every uh, different angle on parallel lines that we go through. So alternate angles are equal. So have a look at this shape. Well, not really a shape, but more pa a pair of parallel lines. You will see that you've got a pair of parallel lines, which are the ones with the arrows. Okay, you can tell which ones are parallel lines or pairs of parallel lines because they've got arrows in them and they're going in the same direction. And you'll notice that our angles are color coordinated. So therefore angle A and angle C are equal and then angle B and angle D are equal. Now, an easy way of figuring this one out is that it makes a Z. Did you all see that? I'll do it again. So our Z creates what's called an alternate angle that are equal. So you can see inside of our Z, we also have our equal angles. And if we were to draw it in the opposite direction, uh, backward Z, if I was to go in the opposite direction, it would look a bit like a funky Z, but it'd still be a Z shape. Can you see inside of your Z parts, it's B and D, therefore they're equal. Okay, so alternate angles are equal. So if you're able to draw a Z and you have the angles inside of your um, Z corners, that means that they're equal. Now I'm going to show you a couple more examples of how they look like. So this is the one we've just seen. That's just been shown to us. This is the one I drew, which is when your Z can be flipped. It's still a Z. It's still an alternate angle. Okay? It's still the shape of a Z. It's just flipped. And it can also be shown to you um, where your parallel lines are going up horizontally, but you can still see that there's that uh, figure figure of Z that creates your alternate angles. Now here's an example. Uh, what is the angle and what is the reason? This is what most questions will ask you to do. They'll say, what is your angle? So if it says find angle A, and then it goes, what's the reason for it? So if we could all have a look in this question, if we're talking about uh, alternate angles, you can see that if I draw a dotted line here, if I draw my line this way, I can create my Z shape, which creates my alternate angle. So A is equal to 43, and the reason for it is because alternate angles are equal. So this one's 43, therefore this one here is also 43. Let's have a look at another example. So what is the angle and what is the reason? So if I was to... draw my dotted dotted line here, I can see the shape I create is a Z, a backward Z, and therefore that interior angle here on both both sides are equal to 135. So C is equal to 135. And again, the reason for it is because alternate angles are equal. Our next angle on parallel lines, corresponding angles are equal. Now have a look. Again, they are color coordinated. We've got B is equal to D and the A is equal to C. And the reason and how we're going to find, know with, um, how to find um, our corresponding angle is because they make an F shape. Now have a look at how the F shape is created. Can you see that? Do it again. Our F shape. So inside our, inside our top part of our F and inside the bottom part of our F, those angles are equal to each other. And if I was to draw the A and C, it would be very similar to the Z, it'll be a, a funky uh, backwards F. 
have a look at a couple more examples of how they look. So this is the one that was played to you. It's the one I drew. So how the, uh, you can see that backwards F go in there and that these angles in here are equal to each other. It could be upside down and then also upside down and flipped. So hopefully you can all see that basically these little angles in here are always going to be equal if you're able to draw a F uh, going along your parallel lines. So have a look at this example. So what is the angle and what is the reason? So have a look at your angles. What shape are you able to draw? So you're able to draw the your F shape, the upside down flipped F. So I can do it like that and then draw my extension there. Therefore, B is equal to 123. And your reason is because it's a corresponding angle and they are equal. Now, final one is called a supplementary or a co-interior angle and they equal to 180. What that means is basically your inside angles when added together will equal to 180. So A plus B equals 180. And the, the way that it's going to help you to see whether or not it's a co-interior angle that it's asking for is it makes a C shape just like that. OK, I'll play it again makes a C shape. It's not a perfect C, but it does make a C shape. So angles inside of your C added together equal to 180. Here's a couple more examples of how they might look. And a backward C. OK, let's have a look at this example. So what is the reason and what is the angle? So if I have a look at my, my pair of parallel lines, what can I see? I can see that I can draw my C there. So interior angles add up to 180 and therefore D is equal to 180 take away 115 which gives me an answer of 65. So D is equal to 65 degrees and obviously the reason for it is because co-interior angles add up or equal to 180 degrees similar to this, what this reason was here. Okay, I'd like to pause this video and have a go at these questions where you give find the value of x and also give the reason as to y. Okay, so E and F were a little bit trickier. So A, I'll pop the answers up. So A was 125, B was 57, C was 70, D was 75, E was 127 and F was 47. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, show you what, what you'd have to do. So for A, it would be a F shape. So your um, corresponding angle. B would be your Z shape. Therefore, it's an alternate angle. Uh, C, remember opposite angles are equal. So X is equal to 70. The reason for it is because uh, vertically opposite angles are equal, they're the same. The, another way you could have done it is angles on a straight line, as you could have found out that. So it's 180 take away 70, which gives you 110, and then done it this way 110 take to 180 away from 110, and you could have figured that one out as well. Uh, D was co interior angles, so it'd be 180 take away 105. Um, e, you'd have to find. Um, Depending on which way you were, but you could have done alternate angles and found that this one here was 53 degrees. And then here done 180, take away 53 degrees. And then for F, the, what you could have done is found this angle. You could have done 180, take away 133. And then once you found that angle, then you can see that this is a corresponding angle. So this angle here is equal to angle X in here. Have a look at some exam style questions. So calculate the value of x, y, and z, give your reasons for your answers, and obviously the diagram is not drawn to, to scale, it's not accurately. So if you were to measure the angles, they wouldn't be accurate, but we can find the values of x, y, and z learning um, using what we've just learnt with our uh, alternate corresponding and co-interior angle uh, rules. So let's have a look. We're going to start with x. So x is 61. The reason for it is because it's a corresponding angle. I'm going to color co coordinate this, so I'm going to go with red, with being x. OK, 
Okay, so we can, if you have a look, we can draw that F there by making this angle here equal to this angle here. Angle Y, it's uh, 86, and the reason for it is because it's a uh, alternate angle. So let's have a look. Alternate angle is our Z shape. So we can draw backwards, backwards Z. So that means that this angle here is equal to this angle here. And therefore, last one, Z is 94 because co interior angles add up to 180. So if I see that green, so I'm going to go over my Z. So this angle here and this angle here equal up to 180. So 180 take away 86 would give you an answer of um, 94 degrees. Now the question here is, can you think of a different reason why we, uh, what we, that we could give for Z? There is, because if you notice, Y and Z, they're on a straight line. And remember, angles on a straight line equal to 180 degrees. So if this one's Y, and we know that Y is 86, we can do 180, take away 86, and obviously that would give us 94 degrees. First one, so we could also say that uh, on for, uh, the reason for Z is that uh, Y and Z are on a straight line, and a straight line is equal to 180 degrees when added together. So pause this video and have a go at this question. Let's go through these answers quite quickly. So write the write out the size of the angle marked um, X. So hopefully you can see that you have a backwards C. So it's in, it's a um, co interior angle. So co interior angle, and the size of it is 180 take away 135, which gives you a value of 45. Degree, 45 degrees and then y value of y is 45 degrees and the reason for it is because uh, vertically opposite angles are equal equal let's have a look at this example so here we can almost almost see we've got a pair of parallel lines um, but it also looks like we've got a trapezium on the inside but the way that we figure this out is you can see that if we were to draw our C shape, that means it's our co interior angles. So A is equal to 180, take away 110, and that gives us a value of 70 degrees. So we know that A is equal to 70 degrees. And then for this one, it's also a co interior angle, but it's a backward C. So for B, it's 180 take away 40 degrees, which gives us an answer of 140 degrees for B. Another example. So find out A, B, A, B, C and D. OK, so we can find out C really easily. And the reason for it is because vertically opposite angles are equal. So C is equal to 52 degrees. And if you notice our parallel lines, these are parallel to each other, and so are these. And hopefully remembering from our properties of quadrilaterals, this is a rhombus. So therefore, A and C are equal angles, okay? And then B and D are also equal. So the way we're going to find this out is, remember, a quadrilateral adds up 360. So we're going to do 360, take away our two values of 52. And when we take away those two values, we get an answer of 256 and that we know that d plus c is equal to sorry d plus b is equal to 256 degrees but we also know that they're equal to each other so all we have to do is do 256 divided by 2 which gives us an answer of 128 degrees so d and d are 128 degrees each